I wanted to start tonight by saying thank you to all of those on the nominating committee in tonight's program. A special thanks to Josh for all his help in getting me here. <laughs> it, was, it was a cat and mouse thing. I am truly honored to be asked to be part of this very special occasion. When I was researching colleges as a senior in high school, I had a few must-haves on my list. I wanted a small school in New England, an accomplished theater curriculum, and a strong women's athletic program. I found them all at St. Mike's. I was so excited when I was accepted, and it was made even better when I learned that my brother Bobby would be joining me. I felt right at home playing on the field hockey team, and Sue DePratt was a great leader and coach. The theater group was awesome. Dr. and Mrs. Rathgab were the best. The only thing missing for me was a women's lacrosse team. So I went to Sue and learned what we needed to do to have a lacrosse team become an official club sport. The biggest challenge at that time was to find players. It would have been a lot easier now with social media and cell phones, but the good old posters and flyers did their job. We had about six girls that had played in high school, kind of. <laughs> However, we needed a roster of at least 12, including the goalie. I went home that Christmas, and my high school coach, Peg Melford, personally donated a dozen wooden sticks. We were on our way. As the spring semester approached, I persuaded friends to join, including my roommates, who had never even seen a lacrosse game, never mind played, but they showed up. I'd gotten to know Zaft from field hockey, and he agreed to help coach when he could. His presence really helped make us feel like a team. We'd, we really would not have survived if he hadn't been there. I was able to set up some scrimmages with nearby schools. No one would travel to us that first year. And while we never won any, it was a start. I won't get into the many funny stories from that first year, but suffice it to say, there were a lot. We had several parties and events to not only raise money for the program, but to build awareness and find players as well. It helped that my brother was the beer guy on campus <laughs> and that Grace Tafner had such a great player, was such a great player. By the third year, we had a decent roster. In my senior year, Todd Wadsworth, a business professor, volunteered to coach. He was awesome. Jerry Gallagher in admissions was mentioning us to prospective candidates. So we were starting to get girls that had played in high school, including my younger sister, Trish. Trish and her friends joining made a big difference. We actually made plays and started winning some scrimmages. As you know from the write-up tonight, Trish was our leading scorer my senior year. The most important part of each season was the amount of sheer fun we all had playing with each other. There were a lot of drop balls, but for every one, there were twice as many laughs. The team officially became a varsity sport in 1983, with Todd still at the helm. They have become a strong presence in the Division II conference, and the program continues to grow. Sports has always been a part of my life, but sports is so much more than winning championships. Playing on a team shows commitment and builds character in so many ways. I am so proud of the St. Mike's women's lacrosse program because I saw firsthand how it's grown to be more. On 9-11, we lost a dear friend, Tommy Palazzo. Lisa, Tommy's wife, was one of my closest friends and thanks to Tommy's passion for lacrosse, all three of his girls played lacrosse. It was November of 2001, and Christian, the oldest, needed to start looking at colleges, even though she didn't want to leave her mom and sisters. It was the last thing she wanted to do. Having had five of us Davises graduate from St. Mike's, we had a few connections, so we connected. We believe St. Mike's would be a good place for Christian. So Lisa, Christian, and I came up for a visit. She immediately connected with Coach Carla Hessler 
and the girls on the team. St. Mike's took her in and gave her just the right support she needed to get through such a difficult time. And for that, I will always be grateful. She actually met her future husband at St. Mike's and is now a mother of four. It was meant to be. I myself have four wonderful sons, and sports has always been a part of their lives as well. They all played lacrosse and lots of other sports. And my husband was an All-American at Colorado College. I feel truly blessed that I was able to be a part of something that has given so much to so many young women athletes. I saw a need and acted on it, but I was not alone. So many people were a part of helping me make this program what it is today. Thanks.